for a pit bull that attacked an Amesbury police officer is over. That dog was found near its home after running away yesterday afternoon. The disappearance sparked a warning from police. WBZ's Anna Myler has the story. The pit bull that attacked a police officer and escaped from this complex is now back home with his owner. Yesterday, police put out an alert warning people the dog is aggressive, but the owner tells me he hopes people will keep an open mind about his four-legged friend. This is Kuma, the pit bull that prompted a police alert in Amesbury. The ordeal began when two officers responded to a medical emergency at the Whitehall Lake condo Sunday morning, and the dog broke free. I did not have a firm grip on the dog like I should have at 5.45 a.m. I wasn't expecting people out here. It charged at her. It charged at her shoulder. Um, it went for her leg, and it also, she said, it went for her face as well. Um, but it did get, did get a hold of her back, back of her coat. Um, however, it didn't break skin. And the it, second officer used a taser on the dog, and the animal took off. Police then ordered neighbors to shelter in place. And we knew it was aggressive. We knew it was it already had, had attacked one of our supervisors. Um, and we were we had concern for the people, for the public. Animal control put out humane traps with treats in hopes of securing the dog safely. But after more than 24 hours on the run, Kuma wandered back home. Owner Brian McMenamin says his pet is a work in progress. His second owner neglected him, crated him 20 hours a day. McMenamin adopted Kuma eight months ago and says he's made great strides in a short amount of time. And he, he's got a great dog trainer. He goes to uh, doggy daycare five to six days a week. I mean, I understand there's a lot of fear of pit bulls out there, and I totally can understand that. But every dog is different. Every situation is different. McMenamin tells me the animal control officer will be stopping by later today to file a report, but he's unsure exactly what will happen next. Reporting from Amesbury, Anna Myler, WBZ News.